I want to just put this into perspective and let you guys understand what I think we're working with or what we have kind of is, is very special here. And let me just give you guys for maybe that you come across the video, you don't know all the things that I've been involved in. Um, I just between being a musician, really, um, I've had the opportunity to perform at you know festivals to venues with thousands of people. Uh, my band backwards are touring and all of that. My old band, everything. So being around kind of crowds is not new to me. But this is my kind of first thing that I had done or ha had been a part of that was like strictly kind of nerd, fan, geek kind of oriented that came from our community. It wasn't necessarily attached to something else. It wasn't like, you know, a convention or something. This was something that was completely organic that was started um, or rather had by way of people that are kind of on our side of the aisle in this community. And when I say I've seen nothing like that, I mean that I've seen absolutely nothing like that. Um, What I mean by that is, you know, I got a there a little late to this, uh, to the FNT, uh, this Friday Night Tights uh, Dallas event. I, I was there a little late. And I got there nonetheless. And that damn thing was way over capacity, like way over capacity. If you got there earlier on, even like before I was, I think I got there where the crowd started to dwindle and it was still wall to wall. And I didn't leave. I got up the little steps of, of Gators and I didn't leave that for like another two, three hours between shaking hands, taking all these pictures and all of this stuff. Uh, it was insane. And, you know, it was cool seeing uh, everybody there, you know, uh, you see all these videos that had been taken that was of people being there. Uh, it's a two store, two floor kind of building that everybody was at. We, uh, you know, taking all these pictures, you know, it's, it, it was something that was when I say it was nothing like that. Hey, there's me right there uh, with Abomination AJ, who I think is in the chat uh, now. But. When I say it's nothing like it, I, I'm specifically referring to the fact that you had people between the Friday Night's tight, tight team um, and Geeks and Gamers team, like, or rather Neurotic and the Geeks and Gamers team, and, and everything combined with that and having all these people. Yeah, there's so, some folks like, obviously, myself. Uh, Brittany was there. I think Melody Mack was there earlier on. Uh, and to see all of these folks just stoked on what this community is doing is again i had just i just never seen anything like the fact that that was even capable is just insane to me and it goes to show how this message and what it is that we talk about and and our approach it, it resonates with so many people and i remember uh gary has said this neurotic has said this to me every time we talk about like what the reverse stuff is He's like dude trust me whatever you think we're gonna do with that we're gonna do way more than you could possibly imagine. And I'm like, dude, you know, okay. But after seeing that, it's not to say I didn't believe him before. It's more like the skepticism and I, the skepticism is completely gone. You know, this isn't the first meetup or anything, but you know, if you watch the end of the, I think the Geese and Gamers was streaming a little bit of it. If you watch the end of that, um, Ryan and I were talking about it uh, on that, on like uh, Steph came with the camera and we were talking about some of the stuff and, and, and Ryan really, he's like, dude, this right here, there's nothing like this. Like, it, And Ryan obviously has participated in other uh, meetups and stuff and has just continued to grow. But it, it's like, I think that, I obviously say all, we will win all the time and it's not just a catchphrase. It's something that I genuinely believe. But after being a part of something like that, it's like, even more so optimistic, optimistic than what I was before I am now. The reason is, it's that it's not just a message resonating with people. These are people that are, these are like real people. Like when I say it's organic, like I say, it was something that the Friday Night Tice team, between Gary and Geeks and Gamers, uh, uh, Quarter Black, all, uh, you know, said, hey, we're going to, it's this expo is this weekend. We're going to do something this uh, uh, before the expo. And that's our event. And that was their event, and they were able to get all these people to come out uh, that were just stoked on people that and meet and meeting us and and everybody that's kind of in our community that was there. It was just like I said, it was almost having a, having a loss for words because you know, of course, Jeremy has to make this big ass scene. Uh, so, because again, I got me and my wife got there late, a little late, 
Uh, and, you know, we come up the stairs or whatever, and Jeremy makes this big scene about my appearance. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, this is insane. Like, this is insane. Like, the amount of people that are in here is, is fucking unreal. And having the chit chats with everybody, a uh, big shout out to everybody that was there, but having the chit chats with with everybody that was there, it just, again, it really puts things into perspective. And there are those that even the, the the hate followers, they're still, it's funny, Twitter, for those of you that don't know Twitter, Twitter's a weird website, and we have a lot of reply guys is what we call them, and myself, Jeremy, Gary, it's these guys who just hate everything about us, and they follow us, however, and they try to demonize us basically on every single post that we post. And, you know, watching these guys scramble to try to dumb down or rather undermine what took place there and what is being accomplished it's just it's gonna be so it just shows how much how terrified these guys are when i tell y'all i'm telling you bro it ain't just what i'm doing with the comic book stuff it's, it's what we talk about with alternative to what people deem as mainstream these the, the true thing that they're terrified of it's not just making fun of them they're terrified uh, they don't like being memed we know that but they are terrified at the idea that this message resonates with a significant amount of people to the point to where we actually become competitive with these guys. Friday night tights, they can be knocked all the, the these hate watchers hate it and knock it so much because of what it became. You're talking about between tw 10, 12, 15, and up to 15,000 people that are watching this show every Friday, right? Live. Like actually st watching it live, um, all the mainstream guys in their streams they can't they can't do that. They, they it's almost impossible for them to do that unless it's some massive gaming event or something. But like their day to day, the little shitty shows G four and and the IG they cannot pull those numbers. It's impossible for them to do that. So they hate the fact that well shit is growing, and these guys are actually getting some pull here. And imagine that com competition goal just is like, you know, commentary stuff, just commenting on what's going on. Imagine that stuff starts happening like that to that degree with other industries or other parts of the entertainment industry. That's what they're scared of because we get to ignore them like or make fun of them. Whereas they say, well, nobody cares. You'll never be this. Uh, Gina Carano got fired. She's working on Daily Wire now. Nobody cares about her. It's all start like all that is a cope. It's a cope. It's a cope because they want to speak it into existence because they are utterly terrified that this message will resonate to the point to where we're competitive with the guys that are that they deem as the mainstream. Even though these reply guys and hate, they own no stake in Disney. None of that. <laughs> they, they not, they're, they're not paid to do what they do. They just are fucking losers that uh, think that, well, we control what's popular. They're on our ideological side. Therefore, they like the fact that it maybe makes other people irate. So whatever. But the fact that this is getting competitive and, and you're seeing how much this, re this like resonates with actual real human beings, not just randos, bros. Real. These are real human beings. This ain't no corporate bullshit. This is like I said, this was something that these guys created. They got this following. They did a meetup. Uh, this ain't their first one, but he did this big meetup and it was a punch. Just regular people, no corporate bullshit, just regular people that are that were there that went out of their way to go see these guys. Um, and it was just insane. And to see that, like, again, when I say I haven't seen anything like that, it, obviously I, I perform in front of been bomb. I've done all that with the music stuff. But like on this side of the like culture. I've never seen anything fucking like that. I, I, again, just independent cats just being able to do do that. I've never seen anything like that. It really put things into perspective. I walked in there. I mean, my wife walked on the stairs. I was like, oh, shit. And um, the ladies got the wife up upstairs. So, you know, she's kind of away from before a little bit. And I was like, and I'm sitting there. Like I said, I was up them stairs and I didn't move from that spot for probably like two and a half hours. Not even joking. Not even joking. Like I'm between 
taking all the I, I ain't take take as much pictures, shook as many hands as I fucking have in in, a, in probably a long a long time. Probably since again backwards was on the road, like you know, a few years back. That was insane. So I had a lot of fun. But even for me, it was a learning experience. And it really like this shit is even bigger than what I thought it was. And I thought it was something that was resonating. But this is. Maybe we are going to do something insane with this comic book company, like as Gary believes that we're going to like this. This is going to be something insane. I'm like, dude. Let's hold up. The pump of brakes. It's going to take a take a minute. It, I guess more is it's just accelerated. It, it just really puts things into perspective how special this is. So I, of course, have to give my personal shout outs to all of those guys and what it is they're doing. But more, more importantly, and they'd agree with me, big shout out to y'all because y'all make this shit real. And obviously this is a big fan oriented kind of subculture. And without people, regular people being regular people, you know, this, this, this is not possible. And, yeah, man, I'm even more enthusiastic about what we're going to be able to do with this comic book shit because, like, we have momentum, period. We just have a lot of momentum. You just listened to a clip from my podcast, For Cannon Sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.